Welcome back to my latest fighter video and on this fighter video we are going back to middleweight okay to French fighter Marcel Thill okay so we will go through Marcel Thill's career 20 fights at a time and we will look at the composition of Korea after which he will join my middleweight playlist um, as I push towards 300 fighters so let us take a look at Marcel Thill's first 20 pro fights and see how he starts out so Marcel Thiel goes 12 wins, 5 losses and 3 draws with 4 KOs, leaving himself combined record of 12 wins, 5 losses, 3 draws with 4 KOs. Now as you can see, Marcel Thiel does not start out quickly, fights no major opponents under criteria for these videos, so he's zeros against champions, Marcel Thiel also is zeros against Hall of Famers. Zeros against top 10 rated fighters, zeros against top 3 rated fighters, and zeros against ring champions. Part of the problem with Marcel Thiel's career, he fought many French fighters who did not ultimately get into the top 10 ratings in the world. So there's Marcel Thiel's first 28 professional fights. Let us leave that and go on to his fights covering up to the 45 mark. And as we can see, there's not much difference. He goes 16 wins, 2 losses, 2 draws with 10 KOs. So after 40 fights, Thill has a record of 28 wins, 7 losses, um, 5 draws with 14 KOs. Now, like slide 1, okay, Marcel Thill in his first 40 fights has not fought a world champion. Um, he's not also fought a Hall of Famer. He's fought no top 10 rated fighters. Um, Thill has also fought no top 3 rated fighters and has fought... No ring champions. So he certainly is a slow starter, especially compared to um, someone like Hilario Zapata. When his video comes, he's a very quick starter. But, you know, he, Marcel Thill had a long career. Let's leave the 40 fight mark and go up to the 60 fight mark, where there is still no change, okay? In this 20 fights, he goes 11 wins, 6 losses, 3 draws with 5 KOs. So after 60 fights, he has a combined record of... 39 wins, 13 losses, 8 draws, with 19 knockouts from 60 fights. So, in those 60 fights, no fights against champions, no fights against all of famous, no fights against top 10 rated fighters, no fights against top 3 rated fighters, and zero fights against ring champions. So a very quiet start for Marcel Thill in his first 60 professional fights. Let us leave um, this slide now and go on to his next slide where he starts adding his names. So, Marcel Thiel goes 15 wins, 4 losses, 1 draw with 12 KOs. So, after 80 fights, he has a record of 54 wins, 17 losses, 9 draws with 31 KOs. Now, on this slide, he fights former top 10 rated contender Jack Hood, suffering a defeat. And then he fights great British fighter, okay, multi-weight mover, top 10 and top 3 rated Hall of Famer, who will be getting a video, um, Len Harvey, one of Britain's great fighters. He then also fights and beats former top 10 rated contender Ted Moore. So Marcel Thill has still not fought a world champion. He's fought one Hall of Famer, the aforementioned Len Harvey. Um, he has a record of no win, one loss, no draw. And Marcel Thill has now gone to three fights against top 10 rated fighters with a record of one win and two losses. And he has now fought his first top three rated fighter um, and lost. That is the aforementioned um, Hall of Famer Len Harvey, who will be getting a video and I'm looking forward to doing videos on fighters like Len Harvey because no one on YouTube talks about him. I will be the first. Um, Marcel Thill has also not fought any ring champions. So he started out his work now. He's got his first names on his roster. Let's go to the next slide. And Marcel Thiel goes 18 wins, 2 losses, no draws with 9 KOs. So basically after 100 fights, he has a record of 72 wins, 19 losses, 9 draws with 40 KOs. Now Marcel Thiel fights a former world champion, um, another man getting a video. That is the former world champion, top 10 and top 3 rated Vince Dundee. Uh, Marcel Thiel beats Vince Dundee to record his first win over a champion um, with a record of one win, no loss, no draw. Marcel Thill has still only fought the one Hall of Famer. That is Len Harvey, so he's no win, one loss, no draw. And he's now had four fights against top 10 rated fighters with a record of two wins and two losses. Marcel Thill adding Vince Dundee to Len Harvey has now fought two top three rated fighters with a record of one win and one loss. And Marcel Thill has yet to fight a ring champion. So he's had a slow start, okay? Now, on next two slides, he adds... More work and many, many more names and fights. So let us go on to Marcel Thill up to the 125 mark. 
And as we can see, he adds more names on here now. He goes 19 wins and only one defeat with eight KOs. So Marcel Thill's record now stands at 91 wins. 20 losses, 9 draws with 48 KOs. So, Marcel Thill fights former top 10 rated contender Jack Hood, gaining a win. He then beats his um, first Hall of Fame fighter, okay, that is, you know, powerful, long-built, top 10 and top 3 rated champion and Hall of Famer, Gorilla Jones, okay, excellent middleweight fighter. Um, and then he also fights and beats Len Harvey, the top 10 and top 3 rated Hall of Famer, who beat him on the last slide. Marcel Thill avenges that defeat to come back and beat Len Harvey on this slide. He then fights another very good contender, former top 10 rated Kid Tenero, before then fighting and beating Eric Selig, former top 10 contender. Now, he lost to Kid Tenero prior to beating Eric Selig, um, but Marcel Thill goes back in for a second fight with Kid Tenero and Avengers um, the defeat to Kid Tenero, gaining a win over the former top 10 rated contender. He then goes in for a second fight on this slide with former top 10 rated contender Eric Selig, gaining a second win. So Marcel Thill, okay, has now beaten two world champions. He's two win, no loss, no draw. Vince Dundee and Gorilla Jones, excellent wins. He's also had three fights against Hall of Fame fighters um, with a record of two wins and one loss. The first defeat, he avenged to Len Harvey. Then he beat Gorilla Jones, the excellent Gorilla Jones. He's now had also 11 fights against top 10 rated fighters with a record of eight wins and three losses. And Marcel Thill beating Gorilla Jones and Len Harvey on this slide has now gone to four fights. Um, against top three rated fighters with a record of three wins and one loss. Marcel Thill has still not yet fought a ring champion in his career. So Marcel Thill was a very, very slow starter fighting. A lot of French fighters early on in his career were never world rated. Um, but slowly over time, okay, after that initial quiet period, he's got going now. Um, he's not got the greatest roster of names of all time, but he is fighting some very good fighters. Kid Tenero, Len Harvey, um, Gorilla Jones, Vince Dundee. Um, you know, so he is now adding more names. So there is Len Harvey up to the 120 fight mark, okay? Let us now jump onto the next slide where he has another decent list of names. So, Marcel Thill, after 120 fights, has had 11 top 10 rated fights. As we can see on this slide, he goes 17 wins, one loss and one draw, with two KOs in his final fights. So, Marcel Thill retires with a record of 108 wins. 21 losses, 10 draws, with now the half century of 50 knockouts. Now, he does a lot more work on this slide. Marcel Thill fights and beats former top 10 and top 3 rated contender René DeVos. He then also fights another top 3 rated fighter, that is Carmelo Candel, who's top 10 and top 3 rated and gains a draw. He then gains another very good win over top 10 and top 3 rated contender Jock McAvoy before going back in with Carmelo Candel, um, who he'd drawn with on this slide. Um, the top 10 and top 3 rated contender this time is beaten by Marcel Thill in a revenge win. Marcel Thill then fights former top 10 rated contender Kid Tanel gaining another win before then fighting a trilogy against another man who's got a video ready Canadian fighter he fights Lou Bruillard okay former top 10 top 3 raid ring champion Hall of Famer he beats Lou Bruillard in the first fight then goes straight back in with Lou Bruillard um, in terms of fights into the criteria um, with Lou Bruillard for a second fight, gaining a second win over the top 10 Hall of Fame ring champion. And to close out the show over Lou Bruillard, who wins three fights, you know, against the Hall of Famer by winning the third fight as well. Now, Marcel Thill, um, the last fight on this slide um, is against another Hall of Famer that is former top 10 and top 3 rated champion and Hall of Famer, Fred Apostoli, um, who has a video on my middleweight playlist. So Marcel Thill ends this slide, okay, with a record of five wins and one loss um, from his six fights against world champions. Marcel Thill also ends on seven fights against Hall of Fame fighters with a record of five wins and two losses. And he ends hitting the two plus two zero plus club, okay, um, hitting 20 fights against top 10 rated fighters with a record of 15 wins, four losses and one draw from those 20 fights against top 10 rated opponents. And Marcel Thill has now had 12 fights against top three rated fighters with a record of nine wins, two losses and one draw. And he's had three fights against one ring champion. That is the um, excellent former Canadian fighter Lou Bruillard. Marcel Thill has won all three, so he's 3-0. Zero. So let us look at Marcel Thill's stats. 
And Marcel Thilby, three individual world champions in his career, um, Lou Brulag, Gorilla Jones and Vince Dundee. And he fought a combined 55 rounds against the world champions he fought. Marcel Thil also beat three Hall of Fame fighters, Brewillard, um, Gorilla Jones and Len Harvey um, and fought a combined 73 rounds against the Hall of Fame as he fought. Now Marcel Thill held another version of a world title but not when I really count um, on my videos so his title fight record for the main titles of the time is two win, no loss, no draw, no KOs with one defence and Marcel Thill fought 26 rounds um, in title fights for those titles. Now, the two big categories at the bottom, okay, fights against rated fighters, champions or Hall of Fame fighters, Marcel Thill ends on 20 in total. And in wins against rated fighters, champions or Hall of Famers, Marcel Thill ends on 15 wins from those 20. So there is the basic career and the basic stats um, on slide one for Marcel Thill. Marcel Thill is a former middleweight champion. He blossomed after many early defeats. He blossomed into a very good, tough, capable fighter. Um, but he had to do a lot of work, as you could tell by the slides, um, to get to that top level. And then he fought a lot of good names. So... There is Marcel Thill's career and basic stat slide. Now he achieved the half century of knockouts. Let's take a look at Marcel Thill's KO stats. And Marcel Thill, within the 50 KO scored in his career, joined the half century club. Uh, Marcel Thill scored 19 knockouts um, inside three rounds or less. And Marcel Thill also scored five first round KOs. Now, in the three categories at the bottom, KOs over champions, Hall of Famers, and title fights, as demonstrated on last slide, Marcel Thill scored no KOs in title fights. He also did not score um, a KO win over the three Hall of Famers he beat five times, um, and he's also not scored a KO um, over a man who held a world title in his career. So there is Marcel Thill's KO stats. Let's go on to his title fight accomplishments. Close out the video... And Marcel Thill was a one-weight world champion and, of course, held the NBA middleweight title. So Marcel Thill, okay, will join my middleweight playlist. Um, you know, I've realized when I get to 300 fighters, one thing I need to do is stop. And before I do the top 100s, I need to do a quick survey of all the major divisions to make sure I've got all the major fighters in I want in there um, by the time I get to 300 fighters. But that's something I'll do once I hit 300 fighters. These videos will stop for a week to uh, a week while I go through everybody. Uh, get any more names I definitely need in there before I start my stat videos. But there's Marcel Thill joining at middleweight. I'm out for now.